Welcome to the channel. I'm Charlie from Sanu Motors. Today I got 2016 Vauxhall Crosa. I'm going to show you how to change clutch. If you still not subscribe my channel, please do it now and press bell icon then you can get our new videos if you have any question comments please mention below i'll come back to you as soon as possible first i'm going to jack up the car and then remove the tires let's go for a job first thing need to remove this dust cover it's a uh, 36 mil you need to turn anti-clockwise when you turn anti-clockwise, it will come out. After that, we need to remove this nut. Right. Because this one lock with here, that's why it won't come out when I give the pressure with the gun it will out right next step I need to remove caliper then after that we need to remove two holding pin I think it's number seven Allen need to little bit press in caliper right just tiny bit after that this is number seven allen socket now And the bottom one it's out it's to come out and I'm going to hang there at the moment I am going to leave it as it is in here because I need to remove this nut and bolt then after that I am going to disconnect this ABS sensor wire right after that i need to remove this one it's holding 18 mil Right, it's out. After that, I'm going to hang this caliper here. too long I'm going to fold like this here leave it like 
that. Now I'm going to separate the shaft from the knuckle like this and I'm going to leave it. everything as it is then after that same time i'm going to remove this wheel large cover there is a clip need to press in middle clip and after that you can pull rest of bit Clip out other bits I think inside. Same thing here. I'm going to use it that screwdriver, press middle bit in and remove the clip. Right. Another one hold in the top. one in but you have to find out another clip for the, this one because the inside bit go in somewhere I can't find it right yep. then there is another one screw underneath I'm going to remove that one we have a brand new T socket set because old one missing three four bits It's going to be T25. Sorry. It's it's T20. Right, another T20 screw here underneath. I can actually remove from here but I don't want to remove that one I'm going to leave it as it is if I leave it as it is my friend going to be in a trouble because he can't filming nicely because of that I'm going to remove from here Out. right you can see the gearbox now uh, I'm going to leave it everything as it is and I'm going to the other wheel right this dust cap need to turn anti-clockwise remove it after that I'm going to remove Out. 
see the teeth broken. Never mind. Right. After that, need to remove this retention tip using flat screwdriver and press in a little bit. After that, need to remove two dust cap inside. Remove two dust cap. After that, number seven, Allen. Bottom one This is our second clutch for today. We done for Joe 107 2012 model clutch this morning and I'm going to do this one for the afternoon I'm going to hang here like this push it over right after that need to remove here there and here then we have a much space after that i'm going to remove two nut and bolt for the shock absorber it's number 18 I think I didn't bring the 18 socket here, it's in the other side. Going to the bottom one. After that, I can separate hub and the shock at shoulder. Press in this drive shaft, remove drive shaft from the hub leave it like that right now I need to go underneath the car hopefully this car won't drain gearbox oil we'll go to the underneath right I'm going to remove the drive shaft you need to using like this flyer and there is a cut there at dry shaft I'm going to leave it and tap from here then dry shaft will come out you can see it's come out now see right I'm going to take out now right. so what we have to do you can see this cut here you have to put it this one here like this and tap with the hammer then it will come out and after that I'm not going to drain the thing I'm going to use it like this papers and close this hole right right then leave it as it is 
because this method only going to use for Vauxhall Crosa, Vauxhall Safira, Vauxhall brand, you can use it like that. Right, now leave it that part. Then after that, I'm going to do the other drive shaft also, same way. Leave it here and a little bit tap. See, it will come out without any problem. Right, you can see drive shaft out. And I'm going to do the drive shaft like that and close that drive shaft hole with papers. Right, leave it as it is. Next step, I'm going to remove lower gearbox mount. Right, all folding with e socket. E8 for here and E eighteen for bottom one. At the moment I am leave it as it is, then after that we need to remove this bracket, holding bracket. So tight. I can remove the, that bracket, leave it out of the way, right, next step, 
I'm going to remove here connector here I'm going to advise to you make sure put the tipex mark there then you won't mix anything after that you need to remove this connector here and the disconnect from there I'm going to do the tipex mark here first right I'll put the tipex mark after that disconnect this one right. it's out on the top I can remove it now no it's still tight this the one it's out leave it safer place and after that right now let's disconnect from there and after that I had to disconnect from the gear lever right it's almost out I'll leave it as it is before I go to the top I'm going to remove here here and there then after that in here third one fourth one I'm going to disconnect the starter right I'm going to start it here one second one this side third one here fourth one little bit up here somewhere actually I'm leave it out because cover my view right now another two need to come out from this side <laughs> still it's fight again okay right all done at the bottom right next plan I'm not going to remove the subframe at the moment I'm leaving this subframe as it is hopefully this space enough to squeeze in gearbox and do, do the clutch and the release bearing if it not I'll show you how to lower the subframe however I don't have a any plan remove subframe fully if I need it I'll little bit loosen subframe and lower a little bit down and make a much space here and also this battery I think I don't want to remove it because I have a clear access to the 
engine top mount we'll see how it's going on first of all i'm going to do the jack support for the sump area i'll show you and i'll do wooden piece support and also i'm going to remove this bracket because it's cover my way first i'm going to jack up the engine up and leave it as it is and I'm going to remove this lower bracket I'm going to just release a little bit that's it then I can move this back up to the back uh, I think all done underneath I need to go top next step I'm going to remove this sensor it's out then after that I'm going to disconnect this line to the crutch slave cylinder I'm going to disconnect from here there is a circle clip need to remove that clip need to remove and pull it's coming out right it's out and bring it a little bit up like this and leave it here otherwise break fluid all come out from here I'll leave it like that I have a cap like this I'll put it here and anyway block the top right right I'll leave it as it is next step I'm going to remove engine top mount Right, it's loose. Right. Next step, I'm going to lower the engine a little bit. After that, I'm going to remove bell housing bolt, one here and the one middle and another one close to the underneath this oil filter.
first bolt and the second one and third one I feel it now all around clear now I can remove the gearbox I'm going underneath all good but this underneath bracket touch the top of the gearbox end I'm going to put it tight something and lift up the bracket I think it's fine now then I'm going to remove the gearbox it's out Now, gear box out. Right. Now, I'm going to leave it as it is. Then I have access to the bearing here and the clutch here then I'm going to leave it as it is and going to do the job right I'm going to remove the clutch plate After that little bit, turn the flywheel.
this is the whole clutch plate. I can't see any normally screws here like this. I can't see anything all disappeared. We'll see what happened to inside. See, all disappeared. It's coming to the even the revert. See, yeah, that's mean this clutch slipping very badly. This is the LUK brand clutch. It's come with slave cylinder, pressure plate, and the clutch see new clutch has a nice grooves this one all disappeared right and this is the gearbox side that's mean this one need to go in this way that's why this is the gearbox side This one also have the same thing. Right. First, I'm going to check this one. Put it to the gearbox shaft and check. This one going in nicely first. Yeah, it's going nicely. Next step, I'm going to compare new pressure plate and old pressure plate slightly different design but uh, should be the this whole matching it doesn't matter yeah this whole lined up nicely that's mean it's fine After that, when you work with the new clutch, you can see my hand as it is, very dirty. I'm going to remove these two gloves and I'm working with clean hand. First of all, we need to spray brake cleaner, this surface and take a nice clean rag and wipe. See, this is the, it's covered with the oil coating, that's why this one black. Then I have to spray another time. And again, clean. One more time, you need to this surface clean properly, otherwise sometime you ending with slipping clutch, be aware of this problem. Right, it's fine, nice and clean. After that, make sure this side, gearbox side, when you go like that, this is the gearbox side. This one go bottom. Like this. Right after that, there is a special tool. It's called clutch alignment tool. Like this one, we need to find out which socket exactly good for the, this one. This is the correct size. This one turn like this and hold the clutch like this and send through this hole see it's come out then after that you need to turn clockwise this bottom knob when you turn bottom knob you can see this bit enlarge expand right right it's expand now after that 
I need to line the clutch properly and hold after that you have to tight middle one this one right now after that this plate won't move right nice and tight i'm going to leave it as it is and i'm going to take out slave cylinder right it's come with the o-ring o-ring sit behind here when you install to the gearbox and other thing some people has a habit before install this one they are going to press this one don't do it that one if you press this one without fluid sometime this section going to be faulty this slave cylinder going to be faulty because of that don't going to press this one before install don't going to check is it work or not definitely it will work because of that don't going to press this one keep in your mind right i'm going to leave with this one as it is and i'm going to the inside the gearbox and remove these three screws and take out the all bearing let's go inside the gearbox I'm going to disconnect this connector from the slave cylinder there is a clip here need to pull I'm going to lift up this section clip inside I need to remove that clip right, it's out now I leave it that one as it is and I'm going to remove this three screws right basically 
uh, two brand this is shash this is luk this one have a, like this metal connector but this one have all plastic don't worry but all same two different ways basically you need to lift up here this one sit on the gearbox you need to lift here here then you can remove from here then after that you can take out this whole section from the bottom inside the gearbox then this one go into the gearbox and after that this one come in top of the gearbox like this i'm going to install this one and uh, make sure when you install new o-ring remove the old ring inside this one install and the, after that clutch because it's very awkward place then i can't uh, filming properly how to install clutch and this one that's why i explained from outside then the, when you're going to do the clutch tight it zigzag way here 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 there here there three four threads each time and go all the way around then i'm going to install this one I'm sorry, I can't film that one because it's very awkward place. right it's nice and tight next step i'm going to install that top section Right. Again, I'm going to move the gearbox a little bit backward and I'm going to the clutch. Right. Hold tight. Next step, I'm going to 
install gearbox Basically, when you lined up the gearbox, it's always a little bit twisted this side. Because of that, this is the nut and bolt here. You need to press this nut. Then after that, it's holding fine. Now it's holding nicely. Then I'm going to install rest of bolts. Next step, I'm going to install three bell housing bolts all top three bolt tight now then after that i'm going to lift up the gearbox and going to connect it to the engine mount this mount this cable saving my time otherwise i had to remove the Top two holding bolt. Right. And I'm going to lift up the engine. right now engine top mount fully tight i can remove the jack okay. right next step i'm going to reconnect this brake fluid line it's in i'm going to leave it as it is after that i had to connect this sensor ah. i'll forget to install this bracket it's coming bell housing this nut i had to remove that one and reinstall
after that I'm going to connect this sensor right it's connected right again I'm going to underneath one second one I already tight here and another one here and this is the top one it's coming to here tight and need to tight top one right that all tight after that I'm going to install lower engine bracket. Install this one first, leave it like that. Then right, I'm going to install this bracket. This pin need to go through this hole like this. After that, install this bolt in the top. and this one bottom I need a small extension Tight. This mount need to pull the engine a little bit forward. Right, it's in. that too tight next step I'm going to install 
this bracket here and the, this lever. Right. I'm using lock plier like this. Then after that, this tip came out. Then after that, I can install this clip. Right. See, it's in. Now after that, I can remove the lock plier. Right. That job done. Next step. I'm going to line up this tipex mark otherwise your inside gear lever going to play up right you like that and tie this screw twist right it's tight We'll see when I go inside the car, how is the gear moving. Next step, I'm going to install drive shaft. I'm going to start it from, yeah, before that, I can install this bracket also. How the roller? No, What's up? Right. 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 Just press in like that. You can see it sit on nicely. Right. Now I'm going to do the other side. Remove the power and going to install other side. Just line and press in. Right. It's one in. Right, it's it now. Slightly tiny, tiny gear oil came out. Just tiny couple of drops. That's it, doesn't matter. Right, right, okay. Now we are going to install drive shaft to the knuckle. I'm going to install this cover. It's in. find out proper clip for the, this hole too small should be this one okay yeah it's correct one cut break this one and push it in
right that's one in next one here bit difficult to do with the gloves I'm going to bring the flyer <laughs> right that's one in next one there is a screw in the top in the bottom another connector here plastic one that one okay next step i'm going to install drive shaft i'm going to move a little bit this side caliper leave it like that and install drive shaft right see me after that these two nut and bolt that need to chisel to this point little bit right it's locked after that I'm going to install brake caliper Thank you. 
tight need to install these two dust covers right this one install and turn clockwise Lock. After that, need to install this clip, brake retention clip. This is bit easy system. It's in. After that. I need to lay out this ABS sensor wire, it's here, after that this one there and here, right, make sure everything all right inside, now I'm going to install tire. Right, let's go to the other wheel. Drive shaft. Install this to nut and bolt.
this will here and lock the nut next step i'm going to install uh, i'm going to put this dust cover locked install caliper install these two dust cap install this retention clip I'm going to use it second method. Right. After that, install this ABS sensor wire to the brackets. Another one behind here. Right. All done. Make sure everything all right there. Then after that, I'm going to install that tire. the hydraulic system for the clutch i'm going to show you how to do it that one first i'm going to tidy up this area and i'll show you how to lead the hydraulic system in the clutch right i'm going to show you how to bleed the hydraulic system for the clutch uh, this is pressure bleeder if you need to buy like this one I put the link below go through that link and you can buy this one or if you don't have this one don't worry normally uh, this car using DOT 4.4 brake fluid if you're not sure read this cap 
then the, it's mentioned in the cap if you don't have a like this pressure bleeder what you have to do you have to open this screw leave it like a three four minutes until the fluid coming out then tight this screw after that go inside the car pump 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 your clutch pedal then again come back and open this screw leave it for the two three minutes to drain out oil then again close again do it the same way when you do two or three times your clutch should be fine but i have a special bleeder then i'm going to use it my pressure bleeder for this job first i'm going to connect here when you do this one make sure your clutch pedal fully up if it in the floor you can't do the bleeding process make sure your clutch pedal all way up after that i'm going to pressurize the system until 10 bars it's fine now i'm going to leave it this one as it is and make sure clutch pedal up it's up after that there is a dust cap in here you need to remove this dust cap first then after that using 11 mil socket and release the bleeding point leave it for a minute brake fluid coming out same time see air also phew, like that it's that's mean air coming out see again air you need to leave it a little bit come out from the hole right i'm going to close the nipple right it's closed now i'm going inside the car and check how is the pedal peel feel little bit spongy however I am going to pump five six times and again I am going to open the lead in Nepal see still air bubble coming see Still they are coming. Still fluid not coming out. See, still they are coming. still at the moment no air
Yeah. I can't feel any air left more. No, see, still air there. Yeah. I'm going to tie it this nipple again and I'm going to check how he's feeling the clutch pedal. It should be fine now. It has a good tension and pressure. Right, one more time I'm checking the bleeding point. I'm going to open the nipple. Yeah, look like to me no air there. Then I'm going to tie the nipple. Just do the hand tight. No need to use the spanner or a chat. Right, it's tight. Then after that, don't going to forget. Close this dust cap. Right. Now you can see that they are a little bit messy break through it all around then i'm going to use water and clean around this area right. all clean and after that i'm going to release my special tool release the pressure Open this one and all pressure gone. After that, you need to open from here. When you do it, be careful. Brake fluid not good for the car paint. Because of that, when you're working, be careful. Don't going to drop to the paint. If some reason you drop the brake fluid to the paint, as soon as possible, take a water and clean it. Right. Start the car and check how we see everything going on. I feeling okay. I'm going to take a little bit reverse. Border. I feel everything good as should be. Thanks for watching. I'm Charlie from Sonu Motors. If you have a crosser like this, you need to follow this step to change your clutch. When you do the clutch, be careful, safety first. This man inside, not good. It's a bit heavy. Be careful. If you still not subscribe my channel, please do it now and press bell icon then you can get our new videos if you have any question comments suggestion please mention below i'll come back to you as soon as possible thank you see you with another video